Meanwhile, there's a potential breakthrough about autism. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra has more on how doctors might now be able to tell if children have autism before they're born. Making a diagnosis of autism depends on signs and symptoms as a child grows and develops. Right now, we consider that an early diagnosis is a diagnosis made anywhere between 18 months and 3 years of age. I don't think anybody's making the diagnosis of autism before 18 months of age. However, you can find red flags before 18 months of age. But even as a baby, not making eye contact, not turning when his name is called, not pointing to needs, these are red flags. But what if you could tell even before birth? Researchers in Scotland are working on this. In their studies, they found as early as 20 weeks gestation, head and abdomen sizes are larger in the fetuses that grew into children later diagnosed with autism. The earlier that you make the diagnosis, the more intensive that the services are being received, that makes a difference. Services like physical, occupational, speech and behavioral therapy. The study included 40 children diagnosed with autism compared to 120 who were not. This type of study can only show associations but not cause and effect. Of course, just having a large head as a fetus does not mean you will definitely have autism as a child. I don't think you can make the diagnosis of autism with just measures. You can have a large head for many reasons. Families may have large heads. Prenatal care and pediatric care are important so that any hints of something wrong can be followed. These findings were presented at a professional conference and have not yet been published in a peer-reviewed journal. The gist, though, of these findings is that perhaps someday we might have a prenatal measure to help guide testing for the earliest possible diagnosis and treatment. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA TV News.